Hey guys, so I thought I would take you guys with me when we went to the Pittsburgh Pet Expo. Now, this place is huge. I don't even think we got to see everything while we were there, but I will show you some of the things we saw, including the big dogs. Here we have a beautiful Great Dane. Some beautiful bull mastiffs. One day, I will have mastiff again. I miss having a mastiff. This little girl is a Cane Corso Rottweiler mix, and this, I think, is a doodle. A shepherd mix. I'm not sure what this is. I think these are bloodhounds. Labs, gotta love the labs. Gotta love the German shepherds. Then we get to the little dogs. We got a little Shih Tzu. Some French bulldogs. <clears throat> She was, I, I was told that she's Chihuahua German Shepherd mix. This little munchkin is a Chihuahua. And of course we've got the, the Dapple Dachshund. And of course we can't forget the stroller puppies. There were strollers everywhere. It was so cute. Even dogs that were training. What a perfect place to train a dog with so many distractions. This guy was training his dog. And basically everywhere you looked, there were dogs. It was incredible. I've never seen so many dogs in one place before. Just every few feet, dogs everywhere. Look at these bulldogs, they're so cute. And these were, uh, this is Going Home Greyhounds as a rescue for greyhounds. Just like everywhere there were dogs, literally. And of course my dog, we can't leave him out of it. He got to walk around too. And this cat, oh my God, this little Sphinx kitten is so cute. And check out this lady's dress. And of course Santa was there. However, we didn't get pictures with Santa because I was afraid that Titus might bite Santa. They also had dock diving dogs, which I thought was awesome. Now this was a rabbit hopping event that we unfortunately did not get to witness, but I thought the course itself looked really cool. We also missed the chicken races. I really wanted to see this, but unfortunately we, we did miss it. We did, however, get to watch a weight pool. I thought the weight pool was really cool and um, I'm not entirely sure what kind of breed this is. I know it's a sight hound. And it, I thought it was really weird to see a sight hound pulling weights, but this little baby did a really good job. Any dog can pull weights, as long as they're trained properly. I've seen Chihuahuas pull weights. And then we had this, I sped it up a little because it was a really long clip. Look how excited this dog was, he wanted to get in on the action. And of course there was a huge section devoted to just a grooming competition. All different kinds of grooms here. Of course my eye went directly towards the coloring. I love a good dye job on a dog, you gotta admit. They're different looking, aren't they? I mean the creativity and the talent is a, it's just amazing. And look how good these dogs just stand there. They're so used to it. Look at them, <laughs> so cute. Now we're gonna move on to the exotics. So this uh, vendor here had hermit crabs and all things hermit crab. Lovely painted shells, I really like the helmets. I think those are so cute. And look at this giant one right here. And then we come to the reptiles. I 
I would love to have a tortoise. I don't know if I'm ready for a tortoise, but I would love to have one. This thing is huge, huge. And look at these sweet little uh, green cheek on yours. So adorbs. And this Electus, Electus, I can't remember. It's a female, you know they're female because it's red. And we're just doing a little checkup on Titus, make sure he's okay. He's now in a sling. We brought the sling with us, which was a great idea because he was a little bit nervous. And then the vendors. There were so many CBD oil and hemp product vendors there. there ha I had to have counted at least six. And then there were also places where, you know, if you bought something, portions would be donated to certain charities. This one was obviously, you know, um, working canines, another CBD vendor. More dogs. Dogs everywhere, I'm telling you. And it only got more busy as we stayed. And there's an ice cream vendor. This is a make your own ice cream, make your own uh, cakes, make your own shortbread cookies. I actually made the cake for Titus on his first birthday. And we actually are going to make this ice cream eventually. And there were just treats everywhere. Cookies galore. This was a really good place. And there were also human products too, like this olive oil. But most of the stuff was geared towards dogs at this pet expo because dogs, I guess, are, you know, maybe the most prevalent pet. Most common. But they had so much stuff. It was mind boggling. Like everywhere you looked, there was a vendor, there were dogs, there were people. It was just insane. And of course, we gotta check up on Titus to make sure he's okay. And someone, he actually let someone pet him, a stranger. Can you believe that? lots of stuff to choose from. It was really fun. It was a fun shopping experience. I was gonna get one of these for Titus, but I didn't like the way that it velcroed shut. Because they velcro shut and then they snap shut, but it wasn't, I wasn't feeling it. These sprinkles, I didn't know what they were. And the lady told me that they were actually wax melts. And they come in, they came in all different scents. These were handed at scarves. There was a lot of free samples. I only ended up getting like two because I know what my animals eat and don't eat. This was a really cool vendor. I almost got a hoodie from him. Um, all the like he he donated a part of the proceeds for to help um, war veterans get service dogs. Lots and lots of grooming stuff there too. More CBD stuff. It was just, it was everywhere you guys. Titus and I actually take it. And then there was only one uh, bird vendor, so I had to go check them out. Had to get pick something up for Phoenix, of course. They had stuffed animals for with par parrot stuffed animals, as you see. But again, nothing with an African gray. African gray stuff is so hard to find, which is odd because they're such a common parrot to own. And then these um, compression suits, I almost got one for Titus. Um, I went back and forth about it. It's kind of like a thunder shirt. It's, you know, it keeps, it keeps it close to their body, puts pressure on them so that they are, feel more relaxed and comfortable. But I just got swept away in the expo and uh, I never ended up going back to that vendor. But like I said, cookies galore. So much stuff to choose from. Check up on Titus, see how he's doing. He was really comfortable in the sling. And then of course, the fudge. They they got me with the fudge. So 
So, okay. Sorry that I don't look glamorous or whatever. Phoenix says hi. I just got back. We went to the um, Pittsburgh Pet Expo and I have all that footage that I need to edit and I'm gonna add, add this at the end. I just wanted to show you what we got while we were there. Okay, so the most expensive thing is the smallest and it came in this little bag. And this is full spectrum hemp oil. So it has CBD in it as well. And this is going to be Phoenix. If I could get Phoenix to take this, he won't take it, I've tried. If I could get him to take it, I would, but I'm definitely gonna take it and Titus is gonna take it and my husband might also take it. I picked up a toy for Phoenix. He's seeing it for the first time. And what I liked about this toy was that there's all these little leather knots. He's very picky. He doesn't really chew on wood very much. But this is like a really weird, like almost like a balsa wood. It's in a gumball machine. And it came with the hardware. 25 bucks. A pair of toys are not cheap unless you make them yourself. Which I'm not gonna do. I thought I would, but it turned out no. I picked up this Himalayan dog chew. This is for Titus. He's never had one. I have given this to my dogs in the past, but Titus has never tried one of these, so we'll see if he likes it or not. This company was actually featured on Shark Tank, although I did not see the episode. But this is called Puppy Cake, and I did actually buy a cake mix from them on Amazon before for Titus's birthday, his first year I made cupcakes. And this time, we picked up ice cream for dogs. So this one has goat's milk in it and it's a blueberry flavored. I asked Gary when we were at the booth, I said, which one do you think we should get Titus? And he said, let's get him um, what's that maple bacon. And I'm like, maple bacon ice cream? And I'm like, that's disgusting. I said, no, let's get blueberry. And then Gary tells the girl, put the maple bacon in too. I wanna see if he'll eat it. So I guess we'll see which one he likes better. Um, the CBD oil was, I don't even want to tell you, $78. The bird toy was $25. These were each $5 each. The Himalayan Chew was $7. And then we got this. So good. This is actually for people, not for dogs or birds or anybody else. I got fudge. So I got four different slices of fudge. This one is Snickers. And then, you know, I got a couple of the flavors too. Um, and then Gary, I asked Gary, you know, what do you want? And he said, well, those, those turtles look really good. So I bought him a half a pound. These are not cheap. <laughs> I bought him a half a pound of these. So yeah, to get into the expo was $10. Parking was $6. We spent however much I just told you about plus gas. So it was not a, it was not a cheap event today. But I will say, I had a blast. It was a spontaneous decision this morning to go, and I'm glad we went. I'm glad we went early because when we left, I didn't, I tried very hard not to like video anyone's, people's faces, because I don't think that's right, unless, you know, you have permission or whatever. Um, but it was crowded when we left. When we got in there, there was some people, yeah. But when we left, there were so many people that the security guards were like saying, you know, get in this line, get in this line. It was just clustered. It was just like, oh my God, it was insane. It was a good time. I'm glad we went. I'm glad we got what we got. And I hope the footage is okay. I haven't edited it yet, but I hope it's okay to make like a vlog. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. You say bye? <laughs> okay.